Hello to all my friends out there. So I want to talk to you guys about some stuff. If I wanted to go back to work right now, it would be very, very easy, easy for me to find a job. So you might be saying, well, why is that? Well, the reason is, is in an Asian shop, if they can get a white person to sit in the shop when times are bad, then they can survive. Like right now, people are not going into Asian beauty shops because of the coronavirus. But if they could get someone like me to sit in the shop, then that would reassure people, oh, the shop is safe. And then as soon as the coronavirus thing blew over, you know, I'd be, you know, killed. <laughs> I'd be fired and life would go on. So, you know, that I used to do that kind of stuff when I was uh, supporting my son. I would work three of them. It was really bad because I would know that this was like I was like a temp. And so when I was working for these people, I learned a lot about the Asian mentality. And I think I understand some of the stuff that is going on with uh, China. Okay, basically China has lost the, the, the trade war. So if they tried to attack us full on, it would, you know, they're, they're in a weak position. They can't do that. But what they could do and will do and are doing is if they can weaken their enemy little by little by little, then um, they can come back. Um, in the shops I would be in, they would steal my product little by little, and it was to get my product, you know, my hairdressing products and use them, but it was also to weaken me so they could bring their friends in. A lot of times they would steal the stuff, not just Asian shops, a lot of times they would steal, um, my stuff and give it to someone else that worked in the salon because they can't afford product mind you we're working in the same shop i wonder why okay so what our enemies could do is try to weaken us little by little and then you know um it would be easier to deal with us one of the things that's rather dangerous is well one thing is the price of food will go up but if they can't export, that's not going to help them either. So basically, they have lost the trade war. But they're still fighting. They're not the type that are going to give up. So the thing uh, we want to do, especially in pharmaceuticals, is we want to say, oh my gosh, what if I couldn't afford any pharmaceuticals? So I think it takes about, I'm not sure how long on all drugs to get a loading dose. That means your system is fully... Um, protected by the, the the medication and then every few days if you have a capsule you could remove say one quarter of the capsule and start stockpiling that for an emergency you know every few days because in the event that something happens and you couldn't get any medication and I'm not saying to do this but I'm just saying if you couldn't get any any medication you want to or you know if you could save back one pill every now and then you know you would have to think about this and say am i in danger of totally running out of medication i was watching a good video uh by homestead tessie mobile home living and she mentioned that uh, dollar tree had bought out some uh other chain and why is this well the supply of of stuff is going to run low especially if it comes from china and so a uh, dollar tree has has bought out this chain and it was predicted that possibly uh the dollar and discount shops would have a hard time getting product so that's why you want to stockpile up now okay there's a lot of good 50 cent items so if you can come up with ten dollars and buy 20 50 cent cans of food like um all kinds of beans pinto beans black beans um soup uh the only two i can really find is mushroom and uh tomato and there was good good um comments and i'm going to tell you guys what they are
but I, I want to just make this a short vi uh, video. Okay, my uh, customer went down, uh, she was a young girl, to uh, Mexico to live in a polygamy compound. They were Mormons. And times got hard, and her husband came up to the U.S. to work. And while she was down there in Mexico suffering all kinds of hardship, an old man came up to her, and he gave her a bag of beans, a bag of rice, and vegetables and he told her to plant a garden and she did and she survived he told her ma'am your daughter is starving so star and that is in this generation she was the same age as I am so don't you know be thinking that could never happen it might so uh, you saw all those um, vegetables I got at the food pantry and I thought now is a good time to figure out what to do with beans and fruit and vegetables so I want to show you I was dehydrating last night I had three stalks of celery and so I decided to uh, dehydrate it all here it is uh, it was getting late by the time I got to the so celery but I got it pretty much and then I dehydrated what was left of my um, bell peppers and my uh, mushrooms. So that's three stalks of celery. So uh, what, what you could do is you need to stock by a corn meal because that's going to round out the protein. Is you could put your celery, you know, your dehydrated celery in your food. And uh, be bearing in mind, okay... Um, if I have, if I am aware that I have an enemy that is trying to uh, weaken me, and I, this reminds me of a story. My husband, my ex-husband, went to grad night in high school, and the next thing you know, he was in Vietnam, and he was a kid, and he, and you know, there was um, firing back and forth, and. Um, my husband said something to the effect, isn't this going to make them mad? And he and whoever was, you know, in charge of these kids said, they are trying to kill us. When our enemies are trying to weaken us, they are trying to kill us. Don't ever forget that. So in the salons, when they would be trying to weaken me and steal my product, I would quit buying. The minute I got into a shop and I saw any stealing, I bought practically nothing. So you want to learn the fruit, vegetables. Well, he gave her a bag of beans, rice. No, a bag of beans, vegetables, and told her to plant a garden. And so here's my seeds that I, I got out of the food bank food. So start saving your seeds. Start saving your money and protecting yourself. Okay, um, I watched a good video. Yesterday, I was cleaning and hydrating. Material Girl, how to prepare spinach and spinach long term. And so I got a $5 uh, package of uh, spring mix and I will be dehydrating that. And I will put this, I will get some good Ziploc bags. I don't have any, um, I don't have any uh, glass jars yet. So look at this. I learned this on Material Girl. This is my celery, and if you put it in water and change the water every few days, it will sprout. So I thought, great, because, you know, I'm trying to uh, grow stuff. The Chinese are, are not our friends, you guys. Don't be stupid. Subscribe to her. Uh, this is a good one. Jan from New York City saves money. Two-ingredient pea soup done in five minutes. Okay, I really like this video. First of all, you've heard me mention her. Jan from New York City saves money several times but uh, one of the things you can still get for uh, 50 cents is um, is peas and um, vegetables I would get peas corn 
um, green beans and mixed vegetables first. Okay, uh, so the, the, uh, the two ingredient pea soup is really a good recipe because all you need is peas, canned peas and uh, milk and you heat it and blend it in the blender. And then Jessica left a message, make crouton. So I cut up my bread because I had a lot of bread and I toasted it in the oven as croutons and it was very tasty. But Jessica, I want to tell you, I ate 10 pieces of bread in the form of croutons in soup. But uh, that is good to know. So uh, what I was doing is in the middle of the night, I was, you know, eating my pea soup, but I thought, wouldn't it be so much better just to make your own out of your stockpile? Okay, so that was a great comment. Um, this is a good channel. Fundamental Home 16-week grocery and Dollar General items. Now, okay, this one is the queen of thrifty, fundamental home. I mean, I, I figure no one is thriftier than me. Well, you guys, she might have me beat. She really might have me beat. And what she mentioned, this is the um, pineapple, that she dehydrates pineapple. So that was good news to me because I will dehydrate my pineapple. Yesterday at the food pantry... I got, this is the turkey tenderloin, and I keep messing this up. And on the chef's, uh, chef channels, they say if you wrap your uh, food in a baggie and then you uh, wrap that in foil, you won't get freezer burned. But I messed mine up, and I said, oh, yeah, after the fact, so, uh, you know, next time. But uh, this isn't, see, I have it wrapped up good. I'm going to eat this. It's not going to get freezer burned. So I have it wrapped up tight. But what I wanted to show you is this. Where is that? Remember, you guys, this is like talking to friends. So see how I cut my um, turkey tenderloin in chunks? And so then tonight, I'm going to make some uh, turkey burgers using my fam famous turkey. And what's good is I can, take this, I can take this out as many pieces as I need, and I can make myself some turkey burgers, so no wasting of the food bank food. So that's what I did with my, uh, my uh, turkey burger. And I cut my big loaf of bread up in pieces because for some reason, and I will secure all the food they gave me. So uh, vegetables and uh, beans and learn how to uh, cook it. And these channels are really good. So um, Homestead Tessie Mobile Home Living that's she had turkey tenderloin uh, she baked hers that was a good looking recipe but i will make turkey burgers also you can grind your turkey and make um and make you know just like hamburger and then you know you can wash the turkey with um i already washed mine another thing is when i brought the food into my house I uh, pretty much took all the packages out and, and threw them back in the dumpster so that nothing got contaminated. And I was able to pack everything in my refrigerator and my, my kitchen. 